Google Real-Time Reporting is an important section because it allows the users to see who's logged in to your website in real time and it also gives you information about event tracking. If you're trying to test events and you want to see if they are working, Google Real Time is the place to go. And a lot more to learn in this last episode for beginners in Google Analytics right after this. Welcome back. Google Real Time is the last section that we will discuss here in Google Analytics for Beginners. And it's very essential because it helps you do two things. First, you're able to see in real time who is logged in to your web page and what kind of pages they are visiting, what country they are from, and a lot more in real time. The other thing you want to use real time in Google Analytics is to able to test things like event tracking. If you have set up some kind of tracking on elements in Google Analytics, uh, such as a click on a button or a download link or whatever, you are able to see this event tracking in real time through Google Analytics real time reports. Let's see it right here, right now. If I go to real time and click on overview, the first thing that I see is in real time how many people are on my website right now. I can see the referrals, I can see the social traffic such as Facebook or whatever, and also I can see the top keywords that are leading to my users being on my website. The top active pages, this is interesting because it tells me in real time what pages people are visiting on my pages or on my website. And I can see the number of visitors right here, number of active users and the percentages. That's great. Scrolling down, I can see a, a map with heat uh, maps here showing the countries that people are visiting me from. Again, this is an overview. So if I go to locations, I can see the countries. There are six people from United States, one from Russia and one from Spain. Again, the country maps here are shown. And if I hover over, I can see the number of active users. And again, there is a percentage here, a bar percentage right here uh, for the countries. That's interesting. Now moving to traffic sources. This is in relation to where the user is coming from. So for example, it will show me the uh, source and the medium of, uh, for example, for my display advertising, I have Facebook. For my email campaign or organic search, for example, I have Google. And moving on to traffic sources. This is where I can get information about the medium and the source that is leading to my pages. For example, I have uh, one person coming in from organic search medium and through Google. And I have one person coming from the social medium, specifically from Facebook. It's very helpful insights to see what's going on right now on your page. Moving on to behavior. This is interesting because it shows me uh, the active pages, uh, the title of the pages, and also it shows me the active users, their number. Now, the most useful one is events, because this is where you want to dig deep if you're doing some testing around event tracking in uh, Google Analytics. And uh, unfortunately, now there is none happening at the right now, but if you go in events last 30 minutes, you can see, and this is very clear, we have talked about this before, we've used Google Tag Manager to create uh, uh, event tracking on button clicks and download links for uh, PDF documents, for example, or MP3 files or uh, doc files. So this is where you can see all this when doing the uh, debugging. So as you can see, there are eight people on my website. Uh, there is uh, three people in the download event category and they are downloading PDF uh, files. And again, 
uh, in terms of the click category, there is two people doing internal clicks. Again, remember we talked about internal click tracking and using that uh, method of event tracking in Google Analytics to track internal clicks. If you missed out on this video, I'll put a link below or probably on the video itself, so make sure you check it out. And again, this is very, very useful in terms of event tracking in real time. And finally, let's have a look at conversions. Conversions is uh, related to uh, conversions. So if you have set goals in your Google Analytics, this is where you will be able to track them in real time. So if somebody is converting right now, this is where you will be able to see it. And if you can see it right now because you missed it by a few minutes, then you can go to goal hits last 30 minutes and you will be able to see more uh, information, more of a bigger spectrum of time. Uh, Google Analytics real time is great and I think there is a great potential to improve this section in the near future. I hope Google does that because we are all excited all the time about new things that Google Analytics add in terms of their features and enhancements. I hope you enjoyed this last video tutorial about Google Analytics for beginners. If you enjoyed it, please give it the thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, because going forward, I will be going deeper into more advanced topics in Google Analytics. And always remember, please sign up for a free account with webawk.com, the place where we will learn always new information about web technologies. Until a new episode with me, Danny, have a great day. Bye-bye.